Hey guys, welcome to vdchacademy.com and today's topic is signs of trigonometric ratios in respective quadrants. So, if theta that is nothing but the angle which lies in first quadrant that is Q1 between 0 degrees and pi by 2 that is 0 is less than theta less than pi by 2 where all the trigonometric ratios will be positive and if the theta which lies in second quadrant that is pi by 2 less than theta less than pi only sine and cosecant theta are positive and rest of the ratios are negative and then if theta lies in third quadrant which is q3 so in third quadrant theta lies between 180 degrees and 270 degrees so here we can say pi less than theta less than 3 pi by 2 then only tan and cot are positive and the rest of the ratios are negative. And if theta lies in the fourth quadrant where theta lies between 270 degrees and 360 degrees. So here we can say 270 degrees that is 3 pi by 2 less than theta less than 2 pi that is 360 degrees. Only cos theta and secant theta are positive and rest of the ratios are negative. And then if theta that is angle is greater than 360 degrees then the angle theta lies in quadrant 1 where all the ratios are positive. And now these signs of trigonometric ratios can be easily remembered with the help of diagram. So here let us draw a coordinate plane. So here the horizontal line is x axis whereas the vertical line is y axis. So now let us name these axis as x dash and then we get y dash. And now at x axis assume that the rotating ray makes the angle 0 degrees and then when it comes to the position of y axis then it makes an angle of 90 degrees with the x axis. When that ray reaches the position of x dash axis it makes 180 degrees with the x axis. And then when the same rotating ray rotates and makes an angle and reaches to the position of y dash axis then it makes an angle of 270 degrees and again when the same rotating ray again comes to the position of x axis it makes complete angle that is 360 degrees with the x axis. So the angle which is ranging between 0 degrees to 90 degrees then that quadrant is called as quadrant 1 and where the angle is ranging between 90 degrees to 180 degrees so such quadrant is called as quadrant 2 and then the angle between 180 degrees to 270 degrees is called as quadrant 3 and then where theta will be lying between 270 degrees to 360 degrees then that quadrant is called as quadrant 4. So we already discussed that in quadrant 1 all the ratios will be positive and the quadrant 2 only sign and its reciprocal which is cosecant theta are positive. And then in the quadrant 3 only tan theta and its reciprocal cot theta are positive and in the quadrant 4 cos theta and its reciprocal secant theta are positive. So now let me explain a simpler way by which you can easily remember the signs of trigonometric ratios in respective quadrants. So there is a formula to remember all these signs and that formula is all silver tea cups. So in quadrant 1 we will get the word that is all so here all ratios will be positive whereas in the quadrant 2 we get silver. So the trigonometric ratio which starts with the letter S is sine theta and its reciprocal which is cosecant theta are positive in this quadrant. And then in the quadrant 3 we have T which starts with the alphabet T. So the trigonometric ratio which starts with the alphabet T is tan. So tan and its reciprocal cot are positive in this quadrant and rest ratios are negative. And in the quadrant 4 we get cups. So cups starts with the alphabet C and the trigonometric ratio which starts with the alphabet C is cos. So cos and its reciprocal secant are positive in this quadrant and rest all the ratios are negative. So all silver T cups is a simpler way to remember the signs of trigonometric ratios in respective quadrants. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vdchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.